Hello everyone, welcome to day 41 where the mantra is plant a plant. <laughs> Sounds strange. <laughs> I want to introduce you to Sheffy. Uh, let me see if I can do this, but Sheffy is this beautiful Sheffalera. Um, I, you know, when, when I lived in Illinois, I had house plants, had a lot of plants, loved taking care of plants. But then when I moved and started traveling around with work, I just got out of the habit of having plants. I mean, and since pandemic, I don't know what the trigger was exactly, but I just decided that it was time to have house plants again. So my mom actually gave me a cutting off an angel wing begonia that was my grandmother's plant. And I started that and the darn thing actually grew. <laughs> and then I, uh, I, is it ceiling? I'm not sure. I, there was a beautiful bed of purple heart and I broke off a, a stem or whatever of it and brought it home and stuck it in water. And that thing grows like a weed. Well, then one day in the, the, at the hairdresser, we were talking to our friend Lainey who does our hair. And I heard Johnny say, talking about his Sheffalera that he used to have and how much he loved that plant and how he wished he had a Sheffalera. Well, my husband never asks for anything. And so the fact that he, you know, actually was stating overtly, I'd like to have a Sheffalera. I posted this on Facebook, but I went to Home Depot and I got him one. And the darn thing now is taken over the, the patio window and it really needs to be repotted, but it's just, beautiful. I mean, I think there's something, having plants connects us to the earth and it sort of reminds me of the cycle of life and, and how that we're all interconnected as created people and plants and it's all, we're all connected in some way. And, um, I actually Googled, you know, what's the benefits of houseplants? I'm always wondering, like, why am I doing this, right? And come to find out, a lot of the houseplants that we've picked up now during pandemic are on this list. You can Google, like, clean air plants, houseplants, and there's a, a, actually a list that's produced that recommends plants that specifically clean the air, which for my asthma and, and allergies and all that stuff, that's just a side benefit of having plants, but I think they're beautiful. I mean, remember my thing about the color green, they're green and the leaves are different and the way they grow and some need more water and some don't. It's just something about learning their way. Now you might be saying, oh, she's got a green thumb. Not really. I, I kill about 20% of what I grow, try to grow, but 80% live. <laughs> So I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> and I just, you know, I just try, try things, see what works. Some things don't work. Some things are great, like a Sheffalera. And Sheffy, as we affectionately call her, she's just beautiful. She's just, I don't know, she like puts her little leaves out and, and is just extending herself into the room. And I can't wait to see what she becomes over time. Plant yourself a plant. Have a great day. I'm off to the gym. Talk to you later. Bye.